Hello, 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 and welcome. We're cooking with Camille. Well, guys, good day. A nice day outside, nice cool day. I was going to make some chili, but I changed my mind. We're going to make, I made this recipe up all of a sudden. We're going to call it, I was going to call it husband's casserole, but since we have women going with women, men going with men, husband go with wives, so we're going to call it spouse casserole spouse casserole you can do whatever you want okay I need a can of corn i got three cloves of garlic i mean garlic <laughs> i got some peppers i had some red peppers yellow peppers green peppers I only did like a quarter of each you're gonna need a uh, jar of spaghetti sauce or you can use marinated sauce pasta sauce uh this is a pasta marinated sauce uh, you're going to need some kind of pasta. I'm going to use uh, Zitti re uh, Ragu Pasta. I usually use um, noodles, um, vegetini noodles, but uh, vegetini noodles, but I don't think I have enough. Did I say corn? Uh, you're going to need some sour cream. You're going to need one onion. You're going to need, I got a whole lot of cheese, so I'm going to mix it all, get rid of these little bags of cheeses, and some uh, hamburger, okay? First of all, we're going to boil our water, put a little oil in it, uh, put some oil in it, so it, the pasta that won't stick. Okay. A little oil, so the pasta don't stick. And we're going to do, uh, put a little olive oil in the skillet. We're going to saute our peppers and onions first. So let's uh, start off with our peppers. I just smoked the peppers in there. And our onions. And our three cloves of garlic. And we're going to saute that till it's almost brown and then add your hamburger. And while that's cooking, we're going to set our oven to 350 so it can start preheating. And um, we're going to make a salad to go with this, okay? Also a salad. And we're just going to keep stir frying it until we get it all a little brown. Just a little brown. Okay, after you saute this, then add your ground beef. I wanted to hurry up and use this ground beef. I was going to do it for la um, Labor Day, but it rained, so... I did something else, so we're going to use this hamburger up. Okay, the seasons I'm going to use today are my Chef Carmen seasonings. We're going to use the Italian seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle that. Now, this is a powder. It ain't like what it is. That's why it tastes so much better, because it's powder. I mean, it's like they grind it down. So, I'm going to use that. And this is uh, Italian. Then I'm going to use, I have the all-purpose no-salt seasoning blend. I'm going to use that. It's like, kind of remind me of my uh, everything seasoning. And I'm going to use my no-salt onion garlic pepper. Okay. And some regular pepper. And then we're just going to continue to stir fry this till it's uh, completely brown. Now you can add your own seasons what you want. You don't have to use what I use or order what I use. But if you want to order it, all you got to do is go on igotcha.com and uh, Chef Carmen Seasonings are there. Uh, you can order for seasonings from there. igotcha.com um, Continue to season, I mean, um, to stir. 
Okay, we added our pasta to that, uh, to the hot water. Now we're going to go back to our, our um, hamburger. And it's not that much water in there. If you look, see it's not water. It's just a little bit. I'm going to leave that juices in there because I want that flavor from the garlic and the peppers. Then I'm going to add... Oh, I sneeze. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sour cream. One. Large. Okay. And mix that together. And then go ahead and wipe your can off and drain your corn. Make sure you mix it all well. Okay, then we're going to add our corn. I drained it. And we're just going to let this cook. This is white and yellow corn mix. It's the sweet, uh, super sweet white and gold corn. And just mix that together. We're going to wait till our pasta get done. I'm going to switch it. And just let this simmer. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the pepper. I thought that looked nice. Just let that simmer. Okay, I switched it so it can cook faster on the bigger one. It's still cooking fast over here. We're just going to let that cook in, let the corn cook for about five minutes, and then we're going to add our spaghetti, our sauce. Okay, now we're going to add our, your marinating sauce or spaghetti sauce or whatever sauce you want to use. Add it to your meat mixture. I'm going to add a little water because I want to clean that out. Shake it up so you can use it. You don't want too much water because you want to make it watery. And stir that up and let that simmer. Let that simmer until the pasta gets done. And just keep stirring it up. And taste it to see what it needs. It needs more salt, more sugar, more whatever you need. But sometimes tomato sauce can be bland and you might have to add sugar. So taste it and see what it needs before we start putting it in the casserole dish. Okay? I'm going to let it simmer, then I'll taste it. Okay, I think the pasta's done. I think the meat's done. And the pasta done got big, so I know it's done. So we're going to drain it. Okay, in the casserole dish, you're going to spray it real good. And we're going to put some pasta down. Get the pasta. Spread some pasta. Like so, and we're going to pour some sauce down, leave some for the top, and then we're going to put cheese over it. Look at that, y'all. It looks so wonderful. And take it and kind of stir it up. Stir it up real good. Add a little more. Try to get all the noodles you can. Then we're going to add some um, our cheese. I got, I'm going to use up all these bags. Put some mozzarella on there. Use up this whole bag of mozzarella. And then I got a bag of extra sharp cheddar. I'm going to use that. You know what else I'm going to use? I got some. Yes, sir. I got some. I'm going to use up these Velveeta's I got in here. Velveeta slices. I'm going to put that in there because I want to make it cheesy. You can do whatever you want. Whatever cheeses you want. It's going to make it taste good. The cheese is good. I love cheeses. Okay? So you do whatever you want to 
to make your spouse's uh, casserole delicious. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Delicious. Okay. Now, I have one more piece left. Put that there. Then I'm going to add the rest of my pasta. Like so. And then add the rest of my sauce over it. I'm going to make sure you get all the pasta. Spread it out. Then after you mix it all well, and all is mixed well, then we're going to add the rest of our cheddar on top. And we're going to let this bake for 25, 25 minutes until cheese is melted. I'm going to try some croissant rolls. I'm going to see if they work. Because um, they was on um, They busted when I they fell out the refrigerator, so I'm going to see how they turn out. Okay. Okay, let's put this in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Okay, there we is. Look at that, how juicy and cheesy that is. Spouse casserole. Got a little croissants over there and a salad. Let's plate it up. Okay, y'all, the finishing touch. Let me get this camera, hope it don't turn on me. Spouse casserole. Look at that hamburger with the corn and tomatoes. I'm not tomatoes, uh, green peppers and red peppers and yellow peppers and, and uh, orange peppers. And it's got, well, just watch the video on YouTube and see what's all in it. Okay, and we got some croissants, butter croissants, garlic croissants. I put garlic. And a nice size salad. Great for your spouse. They will love you for all this. Spouse casserole, everybody. Spouse. <laughs> okay. Y'all have a blessed day. And thank you again, spouse casserole. Don't forget to uh, enter into the contest. Remember, uh, the month of, what are we in? Month of September. Uh, we have a draw. Um, the winner was April Linder. Lin, uh, Linder was last month. She needed to get in contact with me by Friday or I will give it to the next person. Okay. Have a blessed day. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the colors. The colors are so beautiful. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Um, won't be on tomorrow, but uh, I'll see you in a, the next day, Friday. Bye-bye.